Unforgettable cowboy favorites. I'm back in the saddle again. Now, in Wagon Wheels, you get 50 legendary songs of the Old West. And here they are. He was in my heart like a melody. Yes, America's beloved singing cowboys are back. Enjoy again legends like Roy Rogers and the Sons of the Pioneers, Tex Ritter and Gene Autry. Oh, give me land, lots of land. Under starry skies above. Every song is one you know and love. You'll get the legendary Patsy Montana. I'm an old cowhand from the Rio Grande and learned to ride. How you'll love all 50 priceless original recordings. Call or send to Wagon Wheels at this address now. It's a gold mine of musical memory. Without the taste of water. Western song of all. Home, home on the rain, where the deer and the play. Call or send to Wagon Wheels now. Yes, 50 legendary songs of the old West. Call or write to this address now to get yours on free records or two cassettes for only $19.98 or two long play CDs only $24.98. Happy trails to you. Be sure to order Wagon Wheels today. Grandpa's fine. Your Uncle Charles broke his leg roller skating. Well, let me talk to her. Uh, here's Doug. Emily, is Charles all right? Your aunt and uncle won't be driving up for Thanksgiving. What about Grandpa? They're supposed to pick him up on the way in San Diego. Just a second. What, Emily? Well, why not? It's only two hours. The bus is air conditioned. Grandpa's taking the bus? Well, listen, if you're worried, uh, I'll call as soon as he gets here. What bus? Buddy. What bus? Well, I'll meet him at the station. No, I said I'll call you. What bus? Give a chance. 
So, uh, listen, Emily, uh, tell Charles I'm very sorry about his accident. We're going to miss you both at dinner. Yes, I will. Okay, you too. Right, bye. She was frantic. If my husband took up roller skating, I'd be frantic too. Not about Charles, it's about Dad. She didn't want him to take the bus. So what time is he going to be here? Today at 3. 3? I have to go to swimming practice till 6. Oh, we won't talk to him until you get here. Trust your heart? Denver, Kansas City. Dad, I just told him he's here. I'm 62. <laughs> Actually, I'm his brother. I'm Amelia Stone. Doug Lawrence. Your, uh, your brother and I met on the bus. Don't you recognize her, Douglas? Miss Ryan Gold. 1939. I voted for her. Quite a coincidence. Certainly is. Nice to have met you. I better run. I have to change buses. Bye. Bye, Amelia. Well, here I am. And here you are. How did you know I was coming? Emily called this morning. I thought I wanted to surprise you. If she sticks a mind on her husband, maybe he'd quit falling on his glutus maximus. Roller skating at his age. Take care, Jane. So long. What were you, the social director? Well, I did get the back road of things a few miles. Did you play along on your clarinet? You can't play and sing harmony at the same time. Our Kate and the kids. Holding their breath, waiting your arrival. Can't blame them. You know, I found a great girl for Willie on the bus. Intelligent, pretty face. I gave his phone number, think you mind? You have to ask Rachel. He's got a girl? Damn it, Douglas, why don't people tell me these things? I spent half the ride extolling his virtues. Well, last time you could have spent getting Miss Rango's telephone number. It only took five minutes. <laughs> Here you go. This isn't the right pillow. What's wrong with it? James likes his extra firm. This is extra mushy. I think there's an extra firm in the linen closet. If there isn't, he can have mine. I'm right, and I can prove it. Wingate versus Wingate. Look it up, Douglas. It set the precedent. You gonna charge me for this advice? Hi! Hi! <laughs> Look at you. What'd they do to your teeth, kiddo? Races. Set into your love life? I hate them. And a girl fight back. Good for the soul. Oh, James, we're so delighted you could be here. It's been yeah. too long. You look good, Kate. Work agrees with you. Glad you noticed. Teaching is a wonderful profession. Just don't turn your back on the little motors. <laughs> I'll get that bag. Oh, I got it, I got it. You know, just don't drop it. I thought we'd never get here. My chauffeur insisted on driving the speed limit. Grandpa? Who's the kid with the hairy face? It's good to see you. <laughs> if I could see you, I'd say the same. Aww. Your dad says you got a girl. Can she cook? I'll ask her. Well, if she can't, I got one for you. Met her on the bus. Nearly brought her home for you. You were going to bring me a girl? Well, I see you wish I brought you something else. What? A razor. <laughs> For well over a century, the finest sewing machines have carried the name Singer. But it hasn't been a name you could carry until now. Now everyone can carry the Singer Handy Stitch. Handy Stitch is the most convenient sewing machine I've ever used. And it's a genuine singer. Just thread it in seconds and away you go. The durable chain stitch assures a clean, secure job every time. Hem come loose? Just reach for your handy stitch and it's as good as new. Nothing could be easier. There's no bobbin to wind, fuss with, or lose. Believe me, I'm no seamstress. But the Singer Handy Stitch is so simple, even my husband uses it. Make on-the-spot repairs. Use it for beautiful decorative touches, straight stitches, curved stitches, anything's a snap with Handy Stitch. It comes with five mini spools of thread, plus this extension spindle for standard spools. So draperies while they're still hanging. Take it to the office, your college dormitory, or away on vacation. Join the thousands who have discovered Handy Stitch convenience, complete with battery pack and all these accessories. The Singer Handy Stitch. It's a genuine singer for only $29. 95. Here's how to order. 
Call toll-free 1-800-841-7300 or send $29.95 plus $5.95 shipping and handling to Singer Handy Stitch, P.O. Box 4823, Syracuse, New York. For fastest delivery, use your credit card and call now. 1-800-841-7300. Comedy comes your way weekday mornings with the Beave, Wally, Ward, and June. The Cleaver Clan on WWOR. It's family fun for everyone with Leave it to Beaver. Weekdays at 7.30 Eastern on WWOR EMI Service. They're just a typical family. Hardworking parents, cute kid, and loving grandfather in a charming house that's full of fun. Be there for monstrous laughs with the Munsters. Weekdays at 1 a.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. Pacific on WWOR EMI Service. you've done. What? You grew two inches without asking permission. So how long you stay? Depends. I might be here quite a while. Depends on what? On whether I find an apartment I like. Here? You're moving here? Keep it down. Just between you and me. I don't want anyone to know till I have a place. Well, Dad's got clients in real estate. He could help you. Your father wasn't even a gleam in my eye when I found this house. I don't need his help. What about mine? Keep your eyes open. I'm not particular. So long as I have music-loving neighbors. You should hear me jam with Benny Goodman. You play with Benny Goodman? Well, with his records. going down for midnight snack. Is it 3 a.m.? I'll check. If it's a burglar, let him in. Maybe he'll find my stuffing. Where is it? Burglar. Nobody here. What's the matter? Can't you sleep? What time is it? Three. You ought to be in bed. Well, so should you. That's not funny, Douglas. You've got school tomorrow. What are you been dreaming? You're exhausted from the bus trip. We'd better both get back to bed. I'm not tired. Dad, I think you just need a little sleep. Maybe I'll read for a while. Where are you going? Dad, you're a little thank you. This is my house. I know where my room is. You don't want to wake up, buddy.
find the bathroom light switch. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Ouch! Ouch! Double ouch! There must be a better way to get rid of unwanted hair. Now there is. Introducing Azara, a new method that combines ancient secrets with modern technology. Azara removes hair quickly and easily and keeps it off up to 10 full weeks. Simply squeeze out some Azara, form a little ball, and place it on your skin. Spread the ball out to cover the area. Wait three seconds and remove. No pain, no discoloration. Azara leaves your skin baby soft and smooth. It's easier, safer, more effective than any other method of hair removal. Epilators hurt and tweezers take forever. Azara is quick and painless. Shaving lasts only a few days. Azara lasts up to 10 weeks. Creams contain harsh chemicals. Azara is 100% all natural. Waxes are sticky and messy. Azara is clean and odor free. Professional methods cost a fortune. Azara costs only pennies. The same ball can be used over and over again, wherever you have unsightly or unwanted hair. You'll feel comfortable, confident, and attractive all over. Azara is only $19.95 through this exclusive TV offer. But order within the next 10 minutes, and we'll give you a second tube absolutely free. If you don't agree that Azara is the greatest hair removal method ever, just return the unused portion for a complete refund. You have nothing to lose except unwanted hair. That's two tubes for only $19.95. So have your credit card ready and call now. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-227-3500. Or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Azara. P.O. Box 4823, Syracuse, New York. Or call now, 1-800-227-3500. Good morning, Douglas. Morning, Dad. How are you feeling? Do I look sick? No, no, I just wanted to be slept all right. Well, I always sleep well in this house. Here, have a croissant. I'm going to drive you to work and need your car. What for? Can't a man borrow his son's car without submitting a request and trip ticket? No, no, I just meant if you're going somewhere, one of us could drive you. Morning. You think so drive too fast. I've got Willie's car. I'll take you. All I have this afternoon is study hall. I can get an early dismissal and pick you up at lunchtime. All right, settle it. See you later. Drive carefully. You're going to look for an apartment, aren't you? One bedroom, bath, fireplace. Mm -hmm. Get ready and phone for an appointment. Who's there? Abyssinia. Abyssinia who? Abyssinia one of these days. Great apartment, huh, Grandpa? Good price, too. So you gonna take it? I seem to remember a bakery around the corner. I never make decisions on an empty stomach. We really shouldn't drive home on an empty tank. So I'll get gas and I'll meet you at the bakery. competition.
Something must have happened to him. Don't panic, Tizzyglish. Grandpa. At the front door. Oh, it's you. Oh, are you expecting Carrie Grant? Gotta look for Grandpa. What do you mean, look for Grandpa? It's not as bad as it sounds. She just went to the wrong bakery. James was probably... Oh, that's him. Oh, I'll get it. Hello? Mr. Douglas Lawrence? Speaking. This is Sergeant Addison of the Pasadena Police Department. I've got a James Lawrence here. Says you're his son. Is everything all right? Nothing to be worried about. He was stopped for jaywalking and didn't seem to know where he was. Can you come down and get him? I don't think he should be out on his own. I'll be right there. Well, what was it, Grandpa? Is he all right? Yeah, he's fine. Where is he? Probably at some bakery waiting for me. That's right, and I'm going to pick him up. Okay, I'll go with you. No, you're not, buddy. You stay here. Dad, I want to go. It was my fault. Buddy, I told you to stay here. Why is he so mad? That's a good question. Take the boys out. I've embarrassed you. No, no, you haven't. Everybody jaywalks. That's not what I mean. Don't you want to go home? Not till I told you I'm sorry. Forget it. I feel, I feel like a kid or something. I want to explain what happened. Stop it. Douglas. I'm really sorry. You're my father. You don't have to apologize to me. Let's go. You were supposed to say Major Who. Are you mad at me? Where'd you get a stupid idea like that? Well, you hardly said anything at dinner. A man can't be expected to chew and talk at the same time. I'm sorry about what happened this afternoon. I guess I wasn't listening when you told me which bakery. I don't want to hear any more about that damn bakery. Yeah, well, I feel like a dope. And I think Dad's mad at me, too. Come in and close the door. What happened today wasn't your fault, and don't let anybody tell you it was. I should have gone with you. You the brains a good Lord gave you, buddy. You didn't go to the wrong bakery. What do you mean? You have to spell it out. Your grandpa is getting on, not keeping track the way he used to. You understand what I'm saying? No. Well, sometimes I just forget what I'm doing, where I'm supposed to be. Grandpa. Nothing to get excited about. It's just between you and me. All right. See, that's why I wanted to move up here. I thought if I had somebody close by, I could still have my own place. I was wrong. You don't have to move close by. You can move in with us. That's what the last thing I do. But it'd be great. No, it wouldn't. I don't want a half a dozen people running around me, gumming up my private life, me gumming up theirs. Got a better idea. What? Show you tomorrow. Major who? Made you open up the door, didn't I? Sworn it was in one of these books. That must be fascinating. What? That page. You've been looking at it for the past five minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I'm tired. Thinking about your father? Why should I be worried about him? I didn't say worried. That was your contribution. 
What really happened this afternoon? Dad told Buddy to meet him at a specific bakery. I guess she wasn't paying attention. Well, that's not fair, or very likely. I'm not blaming Buddy. Maybe he forgot what he told her. Why are you trying to make something out of this? I'm not. I'm just thinking about James. Maybe Emily was right. Well, she wasn't right. Are you sure? Well, let's forget it, Kate. I can't. I'm afraid something might happen to him if we're not careful. No, it's not your concern. He's my father. Doug, I love him, if too. I want your advice. I'll ask for it. Well, nuts to you, too. This is me, Vicki, before I went on a diet and started using an Easy Glider. I lost 125 pounds. Here I am, two years later, still using my Easy Glider, and I haven't gained any of the weight back. Easy Glider's not just for exercise anymore. This 20-minute workout gets you on your way to total fitness with cardiovascular conditioning, muscle toning, and yes, weight loss. I watched what I ate, I drank a lot of water, I used my Easy Glider, and that's how I lost 59 pounds. It's low impact and works both your upper and lower body. You can burn up to 300 calories per workout. I tried jogging, playing racquetball, and even starving myself, but nothing lasted or made me feel as good as my Easy Glider. And it folds flat for easy storage. You get a lot of exercise for your money with an Easy Glider. Call toll-free 1-800-841-7300. We'll bill your credit card. Three easy payments of $19.95 each. You get a full 60-day home trial with money-back guarantee. The total price, $59.85 plus $9 shipping and handling. So call 1-800-841-7300 now. How can you stop a throbbing toothache? Massage your hand with ice. How do you cure poison ivy? Try oatmeal. How do I know these cures really work? Because my staff and I interviewed over 500 top U.S. doctors for this incredible book, The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies from the editors of Prevention Magazine Health Books. I'm Bill Gottlieb, Editor-in-Chief, and I can assure you there has never been a more complete encyclopedia of home healing techniques. Over 670 pages, 2,300 remedies, from controlling diabetes to ending diaper rash, it's all right in here. Call now for The Doctor's Book of Home Remedies. Try it absolutely free for 21 days. Then if you choose to keep it, pay in three easy installments of only $8.98. Plus you'll get this Meals That Heal cookbook free. Remember, you can try the Doctor's Book of Home Remedies free for 21 days. So call now. Call 1-800-423-0800. Upstairs. You want to go up and see if he'd like some breakfast? Well, no one has to check on him. Kate? You're in the war zone. Annie. Goodbye. What's eating him? Me, I'm afraid. He knows I'm worried about your grandfather. Why? You know your Aunt Emily didn't want him to travel alone. And yesterday with Buddy. What are you saying? He's getting older, Billy. He's 78 years old. What, you think he's getting seen on? I don't know about that. But I do know he's forgetting things. I think he forgot where to meet Buddy. Well, maybe he did confuse his bakeries. You can't remember a simple recipe for stuffing. That doesn't make you a candidate for Happy Valley. <laughs> From your lips to God's ears. Bye, kiddos. Bye. Bye. Willie, do all old people get senile? No, of course not. And Grandpa's not getting senile. What happens when you do get senile? Well, I, I don't know. You start forgetting things? Like what day it is? But don't look so worried. You still got a few good years left, kidlet. today, but that's because of Thanksgiving. Many of our residents have family who take them for the holiday. Oh, do uh, all the residents always sit out here? Oh, yes, except when the weather's bad. We're very careful about everyone's health. Uh, but really, there's not that much time for loafing. I'll show you our art room, 
And I'll give you a list of some of the lectures we booked for this year. Ever booked Benny Goodman? Oh, the trombone player. Clarinet. I play a little. Yeah, Grandpa's got to have a record player in his room. We have a record player in the recreation room, but I'm afraid they're not allowed in the residence areas. Your roommate and you might not have the same taste in music, you see. What if Grandpa doesn't want a roommate? Quiet, buddy. They could pair me up with a good-looking woman. You have a sense of humor, Mr. Lawrence. That is so important. Mrs. Lambert. Excuse me, she's not supposed to get up by herself. Mrs. Oh. Lambert. Grandpa, this is terrible. Why did you bring me here? Let's go. Oh, I haven't seen the rooms yet. What are you going to do at a nursing home all day? Play checkers and get a tan? I'll look good with a tan. Grandpa, you can't even play your clarinet when you want to. Says who? I'm not going to let them push me around. Get it? Push me around. Ready to continue our tour? Well, we uh, forgot about an appointment we're late for. No, we're not. Lead on, Mrs. Coble. You'll get used to it after a few visiting days, if I let you visit me. I don't know why I lost my temper last night. I think I do. I'm sorry, too. Well, I know I was a little concerned about Dad. I didn't have to be. We just had a talk. Good. He didn't forget about that bakery. He just explained the whole thing. You know, he remembers legal precedents from 1943. Should have asked him what's in that stuffing. If I have to, I will. Do you forgive me for last night? Of course I do. You got to prove it by having dinner with me. Ricardo's, that new place, just the two of us? Oh, you have to give me a rain check. I have a date with Tom Turkey here. Oh, did you? I think he's dead. <laughs> I think uh, Willie has a date with Rachel. But he has a football rally. I've got some good leftovers. You think Annie could manage? Well, she'll be here with Dad. Are you sure this is a good idea? Come on, come on, say yes. I'm just a girl who can't say no. What are you doing? That's your stereo. And now it's yours. So you can play along with Benny Goodman anytime you want to. Well, it's very nice, buddy, but I didn't bring more records. Well, you will, because you're moving in with us. I know what you said, but you won't be in anyone's way, and we won't be in yours. Because you can put a lock on the door, you can have your own phone, you don't have to come down for meals unless you want to, and I can drive you anywhere you want to go at any time. Okay? It's quite an offer, buddy. Thank you, but no. Crap, I can't let you live in that place. Everyone would want you here. I'll ask them. No, you won't. I said no, and I meant no. Look, kiddo, I'm 78. I haven't asked anyone for help since I learned to tie my shoes. But if I have to ask for help, I'd rather ask Nurse What's-Her-Name than my kids. Nurse What's-Her-Name is just a nurse. We love you. That's the point. Go on, buddy. I want to rest before dinner. I gotta talk to you about Grandpa, but you gotta promise not to tell anyone. All right, I promise. What is it? I took Grandpa to see a nursing home today. Wait, I don't understand. Why did you take Grandpa to see a nursing home? He asked me to. Willie, he wants to live there. Buddy, I think he's just playing some sort of a joke on you. He's not playing a joke, Willie. He can't live alone anymore. He doesn't remember things like he used to, and that's why he got lost yesterday. Now, how do you know that? He told me. Oh, buddy. I asked him to live here with us, but he said he won't. And he acts like the nursing home is okay, like he doesn't even mind. I think he minds. I can't do anything to help him, which makes me feel terrible. Why did it have to happen? Why did he have to change? 
I guess if it were okay to grow old, that wouldn't seem so terrible. It would just be part of the process. He's going to live in a nursing home where they won't allow him to have a record player in his room? And you call that part of the process? No, it's not. Well, we'll just think of something else. What? I'll think of something. People discovered their refrigerator had broken down. They did something very simple. They de-iced the evaporator fan with a hair dryer and saved themselves an expensive service call. To keep his home heating bills under control, this man simply leveled his thermostat and cut down on fuel consumption. Take control of the repair problems around your house and save money too with the Fix-It-Yourself series from Time Life Books. They'll show you how to fix just about anything and give you preventive maintenance tips to keep it from breaking down in the first place. Call now to order your first book, Major Appliances. It's yours to examine free for 15 days. Keep it and pay just $13.99 plus shipping and handling. You'll also receive this Carpenter's Level free with your purchase. It will come in handy on many jobs around the house. Fix-It Yourself guides you through every repair step by step with easy-to-follow diagrams and professional tips. Discover how setting the right temperature can make your hot water heater run more economically and learn some professional tricks for smoothing bumpy wallpaper. You'll receive other books about every other month, always on a 15-day free trial basis, like home heating and cooling, kitchen and bathroom plumbing, and windows and doors. Keep only the ones you want. Cancel any time. Each one features troubleshooting guides that show you how difficult and time-consuming the repair is and tell you when you shouldn't attempt it at all. When his washing machine stopped washing, this man simply took matters into his own hands and tightened the drive belt. Take control of the repair problems around your house and save money, too, with Fix-It Yourself from Time Life Books. Call 1-800-238-3200 to examine your first book, Major Appliances, free for 15 days. Keep it and pay just $13.99 plus shipping and handling. You'll also receive a Stanley Level free with your purchase. Call 1-800-238-3200. That's 1-800-238-3200. I heard Benny play summer night 1935. Letitia was pregnant with Emily, so we didn't dance. We just sat holding hands, keeping time with our feet. <laughs> Still managed to step on her toes. You remember a lot about the past, don't you? Sign of old age, kiddo. I was wondering, do you think your memory is so full they can't hold anymore? And that's why you forget things? I don't feel I forget things, Annie, just I mix them up. What do you mean? Well, you ever have a dream, wake up in the middle of the night, for a minute you're not sure if you're awake or still dreaming. It's like that? Not all the time. You get used to it. You tell me. What if I made you a notebook? A notebook? I could write down things, like people's names and who they were, and what year it was. And if you got mixed up, you could look in the notebook. I won't if you don't want me to. It was all I could think of. Oh, it's a beautiful idea. I'm surprised I didn't think of it myself. I'll get started right away. Tomorrow, soon enough, you get to bed before Doug and Kate come home. 
down the house to prove it. is making your car ugly and old introducing color smart the color coordinated car polish that makes those scratches disappear like magic so effective it's like having a paint job in a bottle the secret is coordinated colors look to shine your shoes you match the color polish color smart works the same way simply choose the color that matches your car works on any shade in one easy application covers mix scratches even swirl marks in seconds that car key is ruining the finish just use color smart white and those scratches are gone when i first saw this car i estimated the value at two thousand dollars but after using color smart just once i figured i could sell it for three thousand dollars that power sander is ruining the paint look at that damage but wait color smart works quickly and easily to restore the shine so smooth the polish bottle slides right off to order your color it's this easy the color and make of your car Yes, a blue 1989 Buick. Don't spend hundreds on a new paint job. Now you can order Color Smart, the paint job in a bottle for only $19.95. Order now, and we'll double the size of your bottle. An incredible 16 ounces for the low price of $19.95. Order within the next 10 minutes, and we'll include this incredible triple bonus. Restore it. Make your vinyl, leather, and rubber look like new. Clear glass or crystal clear fog-free windshield and new car scent. All free, a $20 value free when you order Color Smart. So get smart. Use your credit card and Color Smart today. For faster service, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-654-0066. That's 1-800-654-0066. Or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 shipping and handling to Color Smart, P.O. Box 4823, Department A, Syracuse, New York. Or call 1-800-654-0066. Later. 
That's what you said last night. Come on, Kate. Thanksgiving. I don't care if it's Chinese New Year's and Lincoln's birthday. You mustn't lie to yourself about this. I promised myself I'd jog before breakfast. Can't we postpone this conversation? You think I don't understand, but you're wrong. You're wrong. I need the exercise. I had an eight-course Italian dinner. Doug. You remember the summer I broke my leg? Buddy was about five. When she saw my cast, she ran away from me. After all the hysterical crying, you calmed her down. Remember what she said? No. That's not my real mother. My real mother doesn't break. Well, that won't wash, Kate. Buddy was five years old. You were her protector. Where am I sure? James is your protector. What, from nightmares and bullies? From aging and death. Forgive me for being brutal. But when he goes, your childhood goes with him. You're next in line. It's hard to face. I feel finished. James is breaking. He needs attention. Inside of each of us, there's a five-year-old child who refuses to believe in breakable parents. You have to get rid of that five-year-old. It won't go easily. It's the last precious bit of childhood illusion. All this poetry because a man forgot to turn off one burner? You want it in prose? Your father could have burned to death last night. Annie, too. Well, they didn't. This whole conversation is pointless. Oh, Doug. I'm going to jog. You mean run. <laughs> Get a feel for the place. Hi, Maggie. Good to see you up. Sprained your foot in exercise class. <laughs> How'd you hear about the hotel? My grandson here. My girlfriend's aunt lives in a retirement hotel in Chicago. Then you know all about this. Uh, no, not really, Mr. Hudson. Bob. Well, first, let me give you a list of room rates. No sense pussyfooting around. These include meals served three times a day, salt-free. But thanks to Alison Roth, there's salt on the table. Alison's a resident radical. <laughs> she just kept stuffing the suggestion box with table salt. My money's on you, Matt. <laughs> you seem to know everyone's name. Ah, uh, it's like a college dormitory, Miss Lawrence. We live together, we eat together. <laughs> and not that we keep track of your comings and goings. I'm afraid I could stand somebody keeping track. My mind wanders. Not all the time. I'm just giving him the facts, kiddo. Keep still. You know what I'm talking about. Of course. We don't have a companion service at the hotel, but I can recommend a good one. Not cheap, I'm afraid. But once you've made some friends, you might not need the service. We look out after each other here. That's what... Uh, ah, that's Alison Roth, our lady of the salty suggestion box. Good-looking woman. The man with her is Frank Wilson. Can I give you some stiff competition? Handsome man, but I'm definitely saltier. So you did like it, didn't you, Grandpa? What did you think, Grandpa? I think it's too expensive. It's just like renting an apartment. Getting the companion service had that in. Okay, it is more than an apartment, but a nursing home costs just as much. No, 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 don't take the nursing home. Why would you take a nursing home over this? Use your head, Willie. Really. Medicare and health insurance pay for nursing homes, not fancy retirement hotels. Oh, Grandpa. That'll help you out with money. No. Grandpa, it's a terrific place, and it's not far from us. You're just being stubborn. Listen to Willie. Take it. Take it. That's enough, both of you. The cost start pushing me around. I'm not going to ask Douglas for money, and that's the end of it. And if I catch you kids going to him behind my back, Thanks to living daylights out of you. I'm not too feeble either. Shouldn't we tell Dad? You want the living daylights spanked out of you? Hey, Grandpa, wait up. Willie, get your spoon out of the yam. Just a taste. But I Another masterpiece. Oh, uh, terrific, terrific. What are the rest of you going to eat, huh? 
vegetables unless you spare us a nibble. Oh, come on, Doug. I'm starving. The stuffing. Your ginger is missing. Oh, well, have some more, and don't talk with your mouth full. Just a minute, Douglas. Well, you want a car, Dad? I think you should wait for your mother. We're all here. Who wants a leg? Douglas, I told you to wait for your mother. Dad. Really go tell your grandmother we're ready to eat. Grandpa. Grandma Letitia's not here. What do you mean? I said, who wants a leg? Where's Letitia? I think you've forgotten, James. Letitia's gone. It's okay. I'm just an absent-minded old fool. We all love you. I'll go get Doug. See where you are. You kids, Kate. Start eating. Willie, you know how to cut that bird. I'm your father. Well, why don't you try acting like my father? Don't you think I want to? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. It's stupid. Everything's going to be all right. No, it isn't. What are you, blind and deaf? Why didn't you tell me? You could have said something. You wouldn't let me. What was I supposed to do, slip it in? Son, I'm getting senile past the salt. Don't tell me it's hard on you seeing me like this. It is. Good, because it's pretty damn hard on this end, too. Found of being the best old man alive. I thought I'd say wise things to the kids, not crazy, mixed up drivel. And I never wanted to make you so ashamed of him, you had to run out of the room. There's nothing I can do about it, Douglas. I'm not saying you have to like it, but you better get used to it. Because God knows I never will. It scares the hell out of me. Don't say that. Why not? Oh. Well, you've always been the strongest man I ever met. Now, you used to take me to the beach in the winter. You'd go swimming. I mean, the water temperature must have been... Then the lifeguards. I sound like a kid bragging about his old man. Nothing wrong with that. Except I'm not a kid. I'm 53 years old. And you're 78. Disappointed in me? No. No, in myself. I'm not sure I know how we're uh, supposed to act with each other. I mean, you've always taken care of me. I'm not sure I know how to take care of you. Well, for starters, you might give an old man a meal for keeping him standing outside. 